Welcome to Dave's Travel. And here we're going to Villefranche in the French Riviera. Um, and we're going to be visiting the Villa Rothschild. Beautiful place and very close to Nice. Only a 20 minute bus ride. Fountain. This woman really had no nothing to do with all her money. This woman was a rich, spoiled girl. She got sick, and then she started spending all her money when she got an inheritance from her father. Uh, her husband was not very good to her, and uh, one of these columns are apparently fake. It seems like it's all those actually not for them. All the ones on the corner are made of metal. It looks like marble. The rest are marble. Okay, let's look at the first one. It's a salon. Reception. It is the most sumptuous room in the villa and looks out onto the Formy Bay at Beaulieu sur Mer. Beatrice was surrounded by exceptional furniture and objects. She particularly appreciated the 18th century for its refinement, and this room perfectly illustrates her taste. Whoa, look at that. Note the panelling on the walls. It came from the Hotel de Crillon in Paris, a private residence entirely renovated in 1907 to become the luxury hotel that it is today. Look at that. Beatrice obtained the wall panels that you see here from the architect in charge of the renovation, Hippolyte Détaillé. On your left, on the sideboard, note the revolving band clock in gilded bronze. It is the work of Pierre Gaultier, a famous 18th century French metal worker. A famous clock here. The hour is shown on a little white dial. At your feet lies a carpet made during the reign of Louis XV, whose monogram, two large crossed and gilded L's, can be seen in the center of the composition. The carpet comes from the chapel of the Chateau de Versailles which featured five such carpets, all made at the Royal Savonnerie factory. To the right the other bed is a commode, on which stands a portrait of Beatrice as a young girl. This beautiful chest of drawers, one of the finest representatives of the transition style, marking the passage between Louis XV Rococo and the neoclassicism of Louis XVI. One of Beatrice's many dresses is spread out over the armchair. It was perhaps made by the great fashion designer and collector Jacques Doucet. Loved sport, and her idea of entertainment was quite original for a woman of her time. She joined the class, and though it goes without saying that she had a chauffeur, she sometimes drove her own car. Hey, this is the Turn now to the a long dual veil Nice view. Orange, orange trees overlooking the west side sunset. To the sound of the bridal march. Three little poodles into it. Canine bridesmaids and all the vases. There's some of the dishes. A lot of dishes. And there's the table. It's not the great dining room table where she entertains guests. I would assume that's bigger than this. But nice view.
feel French. We're gonna walk along there and then around to Nice. These are the cactus, aloe vera. This is Ville France. Beautiful place, very popular place for movie settings. A lot of movies, James Bond, uh, all these uh, other movies. See the water, a little bit turquoisey there. Just around that bend is Nice. We're walking into the old town. This is a famous spot where they film James Bond, all things. We'll go up there. Maybe it's here. It's closed. Here we are. It's the main square. People having a coffee. What's on here? Burger. 15 euros for a burger. Starting the hike from Villefranche to Nice along this path. There you can see the rocky area in the path. There was the villa at the top there. That's where we walked all around. And that was the town, Villefranche. Okay, we've walked five kilometers. We're making the bend and the sun is setting on the west side as we approach Nice. It's an old bunker from World War. It's a Nazi bunker. And you can see how it is. Can you see the bunker? And continue along the coast here. The sun is setting in an hour and a half. Hopefully we'll get into the sun as we turn the bend of this the corner. Setting soon. And we're still going up. It's a very rocky. Here we are. The bend between the port of Nice and Villefranche. These are disjoint in the trail, as you can see. So basically we have to go up to the top and then back. This is an old World War I bunker. And that leads to Villefranche. And there's Cape Ferrat. There's the lighthouse there. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful walk from Rio Franche along the coast uh, towards Mises Port. Um, and rewarded with beautiful sunsets sitting here in the park on the rocks uh, overlooking the port. Uh, we have tons of sunsets every day so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click like. Thank you.